Hello everyone and welcome back to the garden. This is just going to be a pretty quick update video just to show you kind of what's in bloom and what's going on here in the backyard. As summer progresses along things just grow so rapidly and so quickly it seems as if I can't, you know, I almost can't keep up with everything. First thing I wanted to take a look at is the zinnia bed. We have some really pretty zinnias in this bed and by we I just mean me of course. I don't know why I always say we. Anyway, this is the queen lime peach uh, lots of pretty colors in there as well as this mix of peach pastel colors that i acquired from the dawn creek mix that i was able to get my hands on so lots of really really beautiful pastels and there's even some of that uh, peachy salmon color from like the floor at golden hour in there i've been working really hard to try to kind of separate my own zinnia hybrids and things like that to kind of isolate them and um, make it so where they dependably come true to see it's been a long process and I'm still working on it but I think overall I'm making really really nice progress so I can't complain there you know especially since I am an, a, just a total beginner I don't really know too much about what I'm doing but uh, it's just been really fun to kind of get the different flowers that you see here in the yard. I will probably make a more detailed video about that eventually as soon as I have more footage. Also in the garden we have some of the double Italian petunias blooming. These are the tall, uh, long tall petunias for cut flowers. They're sticky and kind of, eh, you know, just like all petunias are, but they're just so beautiful and I couldn't wait to put them in a flower arrangement with the hydrangea bush. I only have one hydrangea bush in my backyard that I planted years ago. It started out purple. Um, it was pink one year and now this year it is completely blue. It has totally changed to completely blue. Yes, I know why they changed colors. No need to tell me about it. Um, I think a lot of this has to do with maybe salts accumulation from uh, Roundup use by my neighbor. Uh, he is a big fan of Roundup. He sprays everything. I also wanted to show the Sweet William Dianthus. The colors that you see in this video, I don't know what each individual color is called, unfortunately. But the colors that you see here were grown from a uh, seed packet called the Sweet Mix, the Sweet Series. Uh, specifically from the Sweet Series, I really like this bi color, this white and kind of purple magenta bi color. Um, very, very beautiful. Also some really pretty dark colors in this mix packet as well. A little bit harder to photograph than some of the other ones, but uh, just a very lovely combination. Looking at some of the other things here in the yard that I need to show you, we have the Gerora daisies uh, in their containers. They are looking so much bigger. Um, they're growing well. I just have had troubles, you know, trying to keep trying to keep those watered and everything like that, but they're looking so much bigger. I've even seen a couple flower buds thinking about coming up. Um, the gladiolus are starting to come up. These things are growing so fast. It's, I swear you can almost watch them grow in real time. They're growing so fast. Um, they remind me of kind of like some kind of Indiana Jones trap. Like I'm walking through the garden, there's spikes shooting up through the plastic. Um, <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but it's what it reminds me of. Anyway, these things are shooting up fast. I just wanted to show you. You can see they're at a very, very close spacing together, and it will be interesting to see how they bloom at that very close spacing. Also, I wanted to show you that my pomegranate bush had started to bloom, which I think are absolutely beautiful. These blooms are so like satiny looking and beautiful. I didn't expect this pomegranate bush to bloom this year. These are hardy to zone 7, I believe, um, maybe 8. I bought this one because I knew I would have to add a little bit of winter protection. We'll see how that goes. Also wanted to quickly show the carnations. They are still budded up. They just will not bloom. I've been waiting patiently. It seems like these carnations have stayed in this bud stage forever. I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting and they just still haven't opened yet so hopefully we'll have some carnations but who knows because I'm kind of getting tired of waiting for them at this point. 
Also, the Lysianthus will be blooming somewhat soon, within the next couple weeks at least. These are starting to bud up very, very nicely. A lot of the buds have swollen and are gotten um, a lot bigger and fluffier. Um, I honestly don't remember which varieties that I ordered. Uh, these were grown from a liner tray or flat or however you want to, whatever you want to call it. I don't honestly know the technical names for all this stuff. I know I should. That's really about it for this video. I know that it was a short win and I know there's not really much going on. Uh, maybe next time we'll catch up on the dahlias, getting some of our first dahlia blooms and everything. As always, uh, links to everything is down in the description below. Thank you so, so incredibly much for watching this video. It really does mean the world to me. I'm so thankful. And without you, it wouldn't be possible. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.